Fantastic. You are still watching hashtag Why in the morning. And remember, the hashtag is, uh, the segment rather, is Entrepreneurship Tuesday, where we bring you interesting conversations about young people who have ventured into various fields to earn a living for themselves. And sometimes they are professionals. And most importantly is how are they making money out of it? And also, what are some of the skills they've learned that can inspire you back at home and make you grab something from it and uh, take it home and use it for yourself. Remember the conversation is on the hashtag why in the morning on all our social media platforms. Y244 channel is our socials, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Remember on Instagram there's an underscore and mines. Why do I keep on saying mines? Mines is at Brian Sakwa 101. Now joining me right about now live in studio is a powerful gentleman who's also a photographer who's going to take us through his journey. How did he venture into photography? What are some of the lessons he has learned? What are some of his big and uh, achievements that he has managed to actually hunk in that field? And uh, I'm going to let him introduce himself. Good morning to you. Thank you. for coming. Uh, Good morning. Thank yeah. you for hosting me. All right. Uh, my name is Polycop. Okay. I'm a freelancer, photographer, videographer, drone pilot. Basically, I deal in uh, media in general. Okay. Uh, as long as it needs my camera, I'll be there. Yeah, interesting. You know, when you speak of photography, right about now, everybody wants to take a photo at least and yeah. post it on Instagram. Instagram is like the main, 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 main for a lot of people, though. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, why photography? Uh -huh. Why photography? Uh, like, I saw the need of uh, capturing moments. And uh, in our current generation, we see that the only thing that is constant is social media. And uh, by social media, I mean, for me to, or for a company to prosper, they need uh, photos and they need videos. So I saw a gap and I decided to venture into it. Personally, I didn't, I can't say that I had passion in photography. Okay. I saw a business and I, and I went for it. Okay. So at that uh, year time I'm going for it, it became now something that is in me. All right, fantastic. Yeah. When yeah. did you hack it? Like when did you start? I can say like uh, two years ago, okay. but I started earning. That's before the pandemic? Or? Before the pandemic. Okay. Actually, it's when the pandemic was now coming in, but I started earning from it a year ago. Yeah, for the, the two that years. That should be last year. Last year. So the first one year was learning. Okay. Yeah, basically I'm not, uh, I've not uh, studied this thing. I just went for YouTube and okay. some uh, search like uh, Google and all that stuff. That's okay. where I learned everything. Interesting. I'll come back to how you money to learn from the school of YouTube. You know, there's a lot of uh, young people who are watching back at home and they're like, me and a photographer, but uh, the maybe they don't have the money to be taken to a photography school and hack the photography skills. And like you mentioned, you learned it from YouTube. Now, away from that, you'll answer, you'll answer, you, you'll reply, how did you money to like learn from YouTube, what are some of the notes and what are some of the especially nitty gritty topics that a person who is at home can learn and uh, hack about photography. Now let's talk about uh, uh, yourself. Are you working for a company as a photographer or are you as an individual independent photographer? Because based on your story, you're saying you are initially to work with someone and things went south. What happened? Uh, I can say that I'm working for several brands. Okay. As a photographer, I have some uh, companies, if, if I may say, that I'm currently one, working uh, for. Uh, I'm a sports photographer and right. uh, event photographer. Okay. So when it comes to events, I work for several tour companies okay. uh, that have signed contract with them. Okay. And when it comes to sports, there are like three or four companies that I work with. Whenever they have any function, they call me in. Okay. So basically, that is what I do. And if you like need me like in private, we also schedule a day. Then I come. But I don't like. I'm not employed. Yeah. Like where, where you must be there. No. So no, you are self-employed. Yeah, sure. I'm self-employed. Interesting. Now let's come back to the YouTube question. Yeah. Um, people would want to, like maybe somebody wants to be a journalist, they must go through journalism school to 
be polished and be fine. Uh, photography, you mentioned you learned it in the, in the University of YouTube, like they call it. Yeah. How did that go? Because it's not easy to just watch a clip and then finally come up with the masterpiece of the same that you've watched. Mm -hmm. You must have done it for a very long time. Or you must be a brilliant mind to say. Yeah. Uh, huh. Now, if I may say, uh, it, has, it hasn't been easy. Learning uh, through YouTube is not easy for someone who is not interested in that particular field. So when I started learning through YouTube, I had uh, talked to a lot of photographers who, by then, I can say were like established. But more, most of them were just telling you that, uh, you know, where Utakuja Kesho, uh, then if you go, they're not there. So yeah. I say to myself, uh, we have this uh, YouTube and it's there. All the tutorials are there. Why can't I just educate myself from that? Then at least I can see. So that's when I started uh, researching. Uh, like my famous uh, photographer, and it was Mark Wallace. Mark? Mark Wallace. Okay. He's Kenyan the one who was uh, not, he's not a Kenyan. Okay. He's the one who has nurtured me like watching his tutorials from oh, day one oh, to oh. the last. So it hasn't been easy. Like uh, there's a lot of distractions yeah. when watching through YouTube and uh, sometimes things come up and all that. Mm -hmm. So I think so far so good. Uh, I may uh, just say that if you don't have, a, let's say a particular or resources that you can go to these institutions, YouTube is the best place to go. Which YouTube is the best? University of YouTube. University of, of YouTube. YouTube. That's yeah. how I call it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Anyways, yeah. uh, when it comes to photography, everyone, everyone who is a photographer, I, I don't know the relationship. You know, there's usually this saying that goes, Madame na photographers, <laughs> as in uh, photographers na DJs. You know, <laughs> like the uh, only instructions a lady will follow is a photographer. The, Post like this, post like this. How is it for you interacting with some of these clients, especially the ladies? Do you, how do you command their attention and just tell her, yes, post while looking, post while standing like this? Yeah. Interesting. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, <laughs> that's a, uh, say, my attorney, a saying. It's just a saying. <laughs> Things were grounded yeah. and different. But it's true in that uh, photographers, like we face a lot of challenges when it comes to our, our work because sometimes you may find yourself photographing maybe maybe a client needs a, a particular maybe uh, she sells a bikini yeah. so you see uh, in such an inst uh, your scenario she needs you to take her photo and for you to market that product remember she is half naked yes so uh, one thing I can say is that uh, know your like you be principled you know what you want Okay. If you get focused, like if you determine that me, I'm in business, I'm uh -huh. not into these other things, yeah. you will uh, not get into the temptations. But we've heard of uh, many instances where photographers, they end up losing their job, losing their gears because uh, they started going out of what made them be the photographer that they are. Yeah. But it's a challenge. Most of yeah. the upcoming, it's a big challenge. Yeah. And another thing, these ladies will tend to want free photos because yeah. uh, they know are you. I think it's a common thing, right? Yeah. To have somebody say, hey, could you do me a moja buana? And then, yes. but, uh, but you professionally, you, you have like a red card or something. Personally, yeah. do you have a red card yeah, for have charges a red card. for photography? Yes, I have a red card for what I charge, how, how I charge. How much do you charge? Uh, uh, like for session, now, yeah. for now I charge at least 250 per single photo. Okay. Then a session we charge at least 5,000 per hour. 5,000 per hour? Yes, so... So uh, if somebody comes for six hours, yeah, <laughs> you have some good money right there. Yes, yeah. and also uh, I deal mostly with corporates. I'm okay. into corporate world. That's okay. why I said the event. I'm into corporate world. So in corporate, we charge per session. Like okay. let's say if the meeting is going for like five hours, yeah. we charge this uh, certain amount. Yeah. So photography, we have a lot of niche. Like if you want to choose which part you are or yeah. which part you want. But uh, if you want to make money, yeah. you must choose the right one. Yeah. Because nowadays we find uh, upcoming photographers, Kunahizi, the street photography. Yeah, street. You get these uh, people our age, just go kwa street, they take photos. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah. 500 unlimited photos. 
Wow, yeah. yeah, so if you've known what uh, your, your target client, that will uh, push you to maybe work on your rate, work on your charges. Because uh, if someone is in campus, you can't expect him to pay 300 a single photo. That yeah. person wants you to pay, he wants to pay 300 unlimited photos. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a, a big challenge for you as a photographer. For me, it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge. Yeah. Uh, now let's come back to uh, some of the, uh, say, videography or photography skills. Because you you've also mentioned that you, you can be hired to do uh, production, camera yeah. work, and yes. whatnot. Yeah. How does that go for you on your end? Uh, it's uh, it's fine, but for now, uh, I have a certificate in, uh, in 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 camera operation. This okay. is the TV production. I got it from GBS. Okay. So, I've not been into that, uh, okay, I've been into the TV setup like this one, but I've not been like, uh, this is what I want. Like, I'll go for this. For now, yeah. I'm into videography, I'm into photography. So, maybe in future, we'll see what uh, we'll have. If yeah. things go well, then we'll venture into TV production. What is the, f what is the name for your photography firm? Uh, it's called uh, Polico Photography. Po Polico. Okay. P O L I K O Photography. Yeah. But uh, we started a new one. It's called Polico Media. Polico Media. Because we are not into. Uh, I, I've seen a, a screenshot of that right okay. here behind, okay. just right here. Yeah. Nice and uh, the photos. Uh, so what is that shot? Uh, but then, uh, you'll just take us through some of the shots that you take because I understand this variety. Yeah. And uh, it's already running on our screen. Uh, what is this shot? can see it's also right there. Uh, that shot is called, uh, it's, it's like a portrait. Okay. Uh, it's more of a headshot, like uh, this is a beauty portrait. Oh, okay. Uh, as you can see, the lady is like, uh, we take it from uh, the neck upward. Yeah. So that one is a headshot portrait kind of. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, there was also another photo that uh, was there where it was an event. It was like almost... Yeah, these uh, are baby shower. Baby shower, yeah. That I took. Uh, Where was this? That one was in a, a Great Wall Apartments. Hey, okay. Yeah, Heavy name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we don't go small. We go okay. big. Yeah. Or oh, the bungalow to each side. I don't know if there's uh, more. Nice. Yeah, we have nice. more. Uh, in my page, see. we have more. Uh, nice. What about this one? This one looks oh, this more of a graffiti yeah. type of drone art or something actually this was a how is it called it's a castle palace uh, -huh. uh it's like a restaurant so they have this uh design okay the thing that looks like the hair yoni yeah. Muti. okay yeah so that's how they put it and these are just a drawing okay yeah so like the tree represent the hair mm -hmm. yeah so this was drawn by you or uh, you no no friend? no i just took the photo i just saw it nice so Okay. Just took the photo, yeah. Interesting. There's more? What about this one? Uh, this one is a... Uh, this one looks familiar, though. Yeah, it I looks... I don't know why. It was okay. recognized by Nikon Kenya. Oh, Nikon this Kenya. Are, yeah, it's a photo I took in Kenyatta Road where I stay. Okay. This is called... Uh, this is the expressway? Yeah, this is expressway. Wow, it looks So beautiful. you must use... There's some settings that you must uh, use for you to achieve. Which camera is that that you're using for this? I'm using Nikon. Nikon? D7200. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. But for you to achieve this, uh -huh. you must use something called the slow shutter speed. Slow shutter speed. To, what does that mean now? <laughs> slow shutter speed, it means uh, for those who are working with camera, uh -huh. shutter speed is how it's, it's a way like you allow your subject to move okay. through the camera. So when you let your shutter speed be slow, uh -huh. it captures the movement. Okay. So now the cars were coming and going. So when I when you place the shutter speed to be very slow, yeah, that's why you see your light, iso light. Those are the mm. light yagari too. Looks like an aerial aerial photo. Yeah, it's a footbridge. So I was you're I was on top of, on like top of the building. footbridge. Yeah, interesting, yeah. interesting skills right there. Do we have more? Nice. Uh, oh, this is Masai Mara. Uh, you took this one also. Yeah, I took this one as a uh, this Masai gentleman. Okay. He allowed me to take the photo and uh, the thing Kwakichwa Yoni, the actual Manyoya lion. It's the real, real, the real, real lion. lion. Yeah. yeah. The real yeah. actual man for lion. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. 
So what does this photo represent? Does it have a meaning or is it just a headshot of a Maasai? Is this a Maasai guy? Or a yeah, it's a Maasai guy. Okay, this okay. photo means, uh, to me, if, I, if I'm to read it, okay. it just shows, uh, first of all, the facial of the guy mm -hmm. and also the meanings, like easy vitus in a manisha in, 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 in their culture. In, in their culture, yeah, yes. yeah, what it represents. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Do we still have more before we continue? Okay, um, also, when it comes to uh, this one here, this one... Uh, this is, one is, uh, uh -huh. they were showing us how to make fire without uh, matchbox. Matchbox, uh-huh. Yeah, so I just saw it nice and I took it. Interesting. Where was this? Where did you visit? Masai Mara. Oh, Masai Mara. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Did they, like, pay you something? No, they don't pay you. <laughs> this was, like, you volunteering to yeah, do the just, Lord's work. Yeah, for you to be known, you yeah, must sure, volunteer. Sure, sure. At and speaking point. of that, how many times uh, have you worked uh, for people who never credited you or people who never gave you uh, something or a token of, of appreciation in return to the services you gave them? Like you mentioned before that there's somebody who will just come to you and they say, hey, please take me a photo. And then they don't know that professionally that is your job and you're earning and living from it. Mm -hmm. How many times has that happened to you? Uh, so many times, up to now, up to date. Up to date, you're not still yet e, earning something? E, yeah, no, no, not like I'm not earning. Uh -huh. Like, uh, I, I allow myself to be used. Ish, not so, to make <laughs> So, me, uh, I've, been, I've been used severally, okay. and uh, it's, it's an advice that I want to give you. It's kubali okay. kutumika. Kubali kutumika. Yes, let's... Let, Namungu let's, ama na watu. Is, na, na ata na watu. <laughs> Because uh, yeah. let's say uh, people do say that exposure doesn't pay your bill, yeah. but now exposure doesn't pay you the bills of those people who've made it in life. Okay. But if you're just starting, exposure will pay your bill in this way. It will make your work be known. Like yeah. I've uh, worked, I've done several volunteering work, and uh, even up to date. Like if someone, it depends now with the brand. Okay. If someone comes to me and, and tells me, like, I want you to volunteer, okay. I will look at, at them uh -huh. and see what impact will I get if I volunteer. To work with a brand. To work with yeah. a brand, maybe for okay. free. For free. Yes. Okay. And uh, when I started, I didn't have a camera. Mm -hmm. uh, but I went... Uh, with a phone? No. I went to a certain uh, academy called Ruru Sports Academy. Okay. And I told them that I'm a photographer. Mm -hmm. Then they told me, do you have a camera? I said yes. Yes, but, but didn't I didn't yet. have a camera. By fire, by faith. The only thing I knew was, yeah. the, was the theory that I okay. uh, nilipata from YouTube. Okay. So the guy questioned me. So now, you know, I have that, the skills, like the, the soft skill. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I know through mouth, but I don't know them through action. Mm -hmm. So the day I went uh, for the actual kuchukua picha kwa field, Okay. It, it was a bit challenging. So it, that one I worked for free for like four months uh -huh. with no pay. Four months? Four months. That um, was like some sort of internship. Yeah, yeah, it was sort of internship. After there, I've worked for like, I've worked with uh, Jude Njomo, is MP of uh, Kiambu Township. Yeah, those so, are some of the big names you've worked with, right? I've worked with so many people, even Magoha. I've worked Magoha, with, wow. uh, okay. I've worked with uh, Sleepy David. Uh, but the uh, those ones uh -huh. were, yeah, the comedians. So uh -huh. these people, most of them didn't pay me. Okay. Like Sleepy David and the and Akina, these comedians, they were at uh, Gidurai. Uh -huh. So a friend was of it mine. An event? Somebody yeah, it was event. A hangout. It was event for Uyo and Etonani, Desagu. It was okay. called the Desagu Super Cup. Wow. So okay. a friend of mine tipped me, I can be at this uh, one end at uh, that place. So I had to go. Mm -hmm. and uh, take them photos. So I, I talk to them, like, can I take you photos? Then I'll use them on my social media. Then they said, yeah. So it's you approaching them? Yeah, it's me now approaching, approaching them you. because me and Nico in Because you're looking for, yeah, looking for an opportunity. Yeah, I'm looking for an opportunity. For exposure, right? Yes. And for yeah. you to, uh, by photographing those uh, big names, it gives you, like, an image out there. Okay. So after photographing them, I got some good deals. Wow. Okay. Yes. So... I've worked for, f for free for several times, but now I don't think if I can work for free, unless mm -hmm. your brand has, has a name and okay. not just Kenyan name, like it's a, it's a known brand. Because okay. I've made the name for myself. 
True. So yeah. you feel like you're at a place where you can claim your ground and, and say, this is me. This is what I present on the table. And if it doesn't fit what I'm presenting to you, then disappear. <laughs> exactly. Like for now, uh, if, I can, if I may say, see be lazy clients. Okay. Like in this way. Uh -huh. Back then when I was starting, uh -huh. I, know, I know I started like two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. No. Yeah. But in that two years, I've learned skills that uh, I can now stand firm and say that no, this is a person kidogo. Yeah. Ongeza kitu. Ongeza kitu. So yeah. if you... Because of your work. Yeah, because of what I'll deliver and what mm. the impact of my photos or my videos to your company or to your organization. Mm. That's why I started by saying that uh, if, you are, if you want to venture into photography, know your clients. Know your client. Uh -huh. If your clients are vijana wamta. Okay. Me, like where I stay, I don't have any clients. Where do you stay, Kwani? I stay Kenyatta Road. Okay. Like it's where I started. Most of them still... Uh, still wants pictures of 50 bob. Like when I started, I used to even take for photos, yeah, 30 bob, 50 bob. But now, if you tell someone that I'm charging 300 per photo, they mm. think that you're joking. And I someone to picture too. Yeah. So I'm telling them, come on, picture too, watcha. Because mm. now, the people that I deal with, in these, uh, mostly in these events that I go, I get people, maybe CEOs, managers, wakipendezo na kazi yangu, they call me. I okay. worked for Stanbic actually. I'm still their photographer. Stanbic? Stanbic Kenya. Yeah, Stanbic Bank. Stanbic Bank. Yes. Wow, the official IG, photographer for Stanbic Bank. Not yeah. the official photographer, okay. but I've, like, if they have a function, they call me. They have the official photographer though. Mm. Yes. So basically, easy, easy Vitu Zote comes in if you get focused and you know what you really want. If you've known your target client, it will be very easy to give your rate without. Asking yourself, like, eh, ama ni memcharge mingi, ama ni memcharge kidogo. So if you know your client, like, mine ni corporate, and in corporate I don't charge less than maybe 30,000, 40,000. Yeah. You won't feel like ume mu overcharge. Mm. But if you charge a baby shower 30,000, 40,000. How you much do you charge by the way for baby showers? Baby showers I charge 8,000 half a day. Half a day? Yes. That is from like 6 a.m. to midday. Yeah, to maybe, yeah. So that is just illiterate. Then it depends on Okay. Like I went for birthday, uh, Shafi, wa Shafi Weru. Mm -hmm. So like big brands like that, big names like Kama Huyo, you don't just charge. Mm, you Kisaki present Dogo. a red card or Yeah, something. you present a red card and it should be high. Because such people who okay, charge less, mm. they'll think that uh, you're, you're just, you're just you trying out. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I'm being told we wind up, but I want to ask you two more, three questions, and I want you to answer faster, faster. Mm -hmm. What are some of the lessons you've learned in your field that you can pass on to maybe aspiring photographers who are watching back at home or young and upcoming photographers? And uh, uh, one of the biggest challenge that you think uh, all photographers face mm -hmm. that maybe can be a lesson but also an experience that's life changing. So start with uh, what are some of the experiences you've learned? Uh -huh. One thing I can say that uh, you need friends and you need your family. Okay. For me to like establish my own brand, uh, I had close friends and uh, my family was there to support me. That is my brother and my sister. So they really st uh, stood with me and advised me accordingly. So if you can just make sure that you be close to these people, they will help you. Because buying my first camera, I had to work Harambe. For what? me to get my first camera. Okay. And I got my, fa my first camera on December last year. Uh -huh. I was hiring. Actually, I used to hire a camera. Okay. Pesa mingi kuliko enyara nenda kulipo. Okay. Because I really wanted to know how to use these things. So make sure that you at least have some... A support system. Yeah. Yes, a support system. And for those that do not have anyone? Those, you can't tell me you don't have friends and you don't have family. Maybe you're a street... Or fanya kazi, like I've said in my, in my, uh, fanya mjengo. I've done okay. mjengo, I'm, a, I'm like mimi atasaizi kazi ya photography na hizi zikiisha. I'm a good tailor. Okay, you're a good tailor. Yes. Uh, sorry, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to exit without asking this question. It was, yeah. uh, the, it was the first question that popped up in my mind. You also do tiling, you're also a fundi wa tiles. Mini fundi wa tiles? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, mimi ni plumber. Yeah. Yes, I've done those, but uh, work at a job. I've done uh, several works. I used to work at Kenya breweries before job ishe, nikenda shell. Okay. So when you job ishe, nikajuliza, now what am I supposed to do? 
yeah. so ndio i started now kuingia into construction industry mm. so a friend of mine uh, akani link up na plumbing na after there niko na plumbing kuna kazi mingi nikaona uh, tiling iko na kazi less na pesa ni mingi so i went to tiling up to date job kama iko chini we still go for tiling oh, yeah, it's something yeah. yenye, it's a skill yenye iko new okay yeah so um till the time is up just one lesson that you've learned that you can pass across to any uh, photographer quickly uh, before before that you told uh, uh, let me talk of the challenge okay kindly just one please just one. we are out two yeah. seconds okay yeah. challenge is uh, most photographers will now see that uh, like venturing into this media gears the equipments are very expensive yeah very extremely exp the cheapest camera ile ya kawaida ni around 100 plus 1000 the cheapest so, nasema if now you want to get into the business itself okay yes it's 100 plus mm -hmm. so uh, that is a very big challenge to most beginner photographers mm -hmm. but if you can get a second hand like for 40000 30000 yeah. it will take you somewhere okay yeah true uh, if somebody wants to access you where do they find you to book you for gigs photography gigs events where can they access you social media and maybe a number uh, for social media you can get me at polico photography both on facebook and uh, and uh, uh, ig uh, unfortunately my twitter was hacked uh, my numbers I'll, i don't like giving out my numbers but you can just access me through my social media okay yeah so so uh, thanks for the insights and i believe uh, next time we'll also invite you to share more as you grow in your career we yeah, wish you the best of luck in everything you pursue thank you so much thank you you're welcome And uh, I'm on that note we are taking a very short break when we come back still we continue with entrepreneurship tuesday find us on facebook instagram and twitter is at y254 channel my social media handle is at brian circle 101 we are back with much more please don't change the channel <laughs>